welcome back to another video today and other unboxing video for you guys but this time we have a camera from Nikon first of all before we even start this video I would like to give a huge shout out to Nikon for providing us with amazing gear for our videos if you noticed from previous few videos we actually been using all this gear for our videos and for my live stream as well and results are amazing so what we're gonna do today in this video we're gonna unbox this Z30 this one is the special kit uh, which comes with the DX1650 plus DX50 to 250 lens with it. First we will try it for a vlogging and then we will be setting up my streaming setup in the studio as well. Z30 is specifically for, for vlogging and streaming for creators especially. You can actually use this uh, for your all your shoes, all your vlogs and all your live stream as well. But if you see other stuff here, first of all thank you again, again, again to Nikon providing with these other accessories for this camera which we need for our video production and this is from the company called small rig it will be quite useful accessories if you want to add in so what comes in this box is written here that there are strap rechargeable Leon battery USB cable user manual and warranty this is how it looks like so what we have inside first thing of course the user manual thank you for choosing Nikon and there's a sticker oh very nice sticker inside we have a type C cable then service warranty of course the strap you will get there will be a battery so this is the first lens a dx1650 so all the nikon's lenses is called nikar so this one is the nikar dx50 250 4.5 to 6.3 lens what else in the box is of course your camera itself wow then let's talk about this remote control so very simple just open this very cute little our remote you can put on your grip oh then of course there's a remote control instructions how to use it how to set it up everything is inside this is i believe it's called tripod grip best part about this you can actually put this inside like that so it just uh, goes like this so this is like your whole setup for the tripod camera everything and then you can control your remote like this next thing we need to open is the cage actually this is specially made for z30 this is a very very solid cage for this camera so for this rig what you have to do you just put it like this and it will set up accordingly and then you can just tie it up with this what this does if you want to put a lot of other stuff attached to you like for example light or external microphone or some other things you want to put you can put the grip here and then this become like a full setup for you one thing i love about this camera right the weight of this camera it's like it's like nothing you know <laughs> it's very easy to hold it's very easy to use and this also actually is kind of protect your edges of your camera also then we have this small box this one is the windshield with cold shoe adapter for nikon z30 you can just take this and as it says is have the uh, cold shoe adapter which is here and then you just slide that in and it will set up your Hold you like this for your microphone to avoid all the wind and it looks so cute and plus is very functional so that's uh, that's all about it in the unboxing part so let's set it up and then see how it goes all right guys so this one is all set up very straightforward just put the tripod here and then on this tripod if you guys can see i put the remote already and uh, it's very lightweight and everything then there's this button you can adjust which angle you want it to be all right so we'll just keep it here and uh, the second thing i like about this like for example first of all if this um, screen so it can be closed like this so you don't have to worry about all the fingerprints or scratches on it so for the uh, convenient way of uh, using it we just open it and then you are good to go this can turn also because this is the uh, for content creator vlogging camera once you turn on it will give you this menu uh, you see how it responses when it, I turn it to your side it just uh, screen goes up down this way when I turn it back it just goes to my side so quite a straightforward simple setup oh the best part I'll tell you this is a touch screen guys this is so good you can touch actually so now this one if you guys can see is all set up 
there is Jasper, he's our friend behind the camera. So, of course, recommended uh, to charge it first uh, before you use. This is 20.9 megapixel. This one has the Wi Fi. Uh, this is a uh, built in Wi Fi available. I uh, have a Bluetooth HDMI, also made for iPhone and iPads, but also can be used with Android. So, the ISO is from 100 to 51200 and expandable to 204800, actually, which can give you a really clear and sharp photos even in the ultra low light. And the frame rate is 30p, 25p, 24p, and shutter speed from 1 by 4000 to 900 seconds, and self timer to 2, 5, 10 or 20 seconds and guys as I mentioned this one I will be using it for my live streaming so you can go full HD to 60p and then the 4k up to 30p I have tested it I've been using it and it was really 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 amazing so of course to get the ultimate experience you definitely need the capture card uh, I mean you can have a third-party capture card in my case I'm using the Elgato uh, cam link and then you can have a USB uh, C to HDMI connection to your computer it depends on your uh, wires and all these things so in my situation uh, my one connected from here mini HDMI to the main HDMI to the cam link which is from Elgato and then cam link via USB to my computer as well so a very straightforward connection just is like a plug-and-play but this one also comes with their own app actually you can use the app to um, uh, live stream also you don't need any third-party software also one thing to note for the vloggers that the face tracing is amazing on this one especially for the live stream as well so the functionality and the responsiveness of this face tracing function on this camera is amazing so here very basic stuff microphone jack USB C and mini HDMI on the back of the camera all your main functionality is available one of the best thing I as I mentioned to you guys this this part I use this quite a lot in my live stream if I need to adjust any settings I can just select here and I can choose whatever I want to auto focus on or I want to put it on manual setup I can just press ok it will auto do the things this touch screen uh, really helps me a lot in terms of adjusting during the live streams or in the vlogging also you don't have to go into the menu actually you can uh, customize it according to your own needs go under the menu select those short keys and you can actually put all the things here whatever you want it to be and again this screen is also like a super super responsive of course on the top of the camera you have all your main functionality where you can set up your ISOs and you can start your recordings uh, the modes on the top at the moment is an auto you can put a manual you can UA, U, 2, U, 3 all these things at the back of course you can check all your menu and all the functionality here zoom in zoom out all these things the usage of the remote right is very simple so you just connect it via Bluetooth all right so you can use the shortcut keys to do all your functionality starting a record going to the menu taking a picture it's such nicely integrated into this arm now after I put it inside this one comes with a single slot SD card so uh, guys those are the some general specification which I talked about if you guys want to know about the pricing of these things all the extra things you can also find in the description so let's switch from this camera to this camera now I am connected to the Nikon Z30 as you guys can see and the microphone I'm not talking into this microphone now I'm talking on this camera's microphone so you guys can check but it depends on your own preference which one is better for you usually we use a rod mic also on the top so just to have a better uh, audio when we are outdoor and uh, all these things so let me take you from now here to my streaming setup let's go all right, so um, I will carry you guys around with me. Oh no, I, 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 don't, I don't mean to carry. So see, from the lightings, right? Uh, from all those lightings and everything, I am going into a dark environment. So that's what you talk about when it comes to the, uh, what you call a low light um, uh, functionality of this uh, thing is amazing as well. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to my amazing streaming setup and I'm gonna set this up there. So I will just continue from here. I think that would be great. And uh, this is how my things looks like, guys. It's a, it's a huge, a huge thing. Let me close this with you guys. Check this out. Mm. This, all these three screens comes down and um, this everything close and you are set up. But now I'm going to do one more transition for you guys from this to this now. So what's happening now guys, I am in the streaming software and my Nikon Z30 is connected to the Streamlabs and why I just want you, uh, you Type-C cable. So there are a few ways to do it. For example, 
if you really want a very very crisp quality and all that things right uh, you can get this uh, Elgato and this one comes with like a HDMI output uh, so from your camera from mini HDMI to this HDMI and this goes to your PC as a USB simple but at the moment I don't have a mini HDMI so what I did I actually just connected the type C it depends on your preference that's what I'm talking about here uh, because of course when you connect directly with the type C using the plug-and-play thing for Nikon is uh, what it does is uh, of course there is a limitation on the qualities or quality of the video but if you really want to very super smooth and super sharp until like a 4k kind of a quality on your live stream or 1440p you can actually connect this uh, Elgato cam link and the other thing if you guys uh, I'm not sure if you can notice or not but this is again I haven't mounted on anything it's just on my desk at the moment if you guys can see from here right so this one is just with the um, uh, the mount comes uh, with it for the smart rig and put the uh, what you call the remote here and then just all, all just put it there I was using it on the vlog then I move it here we just plug one cable and then so that's the portability part of this so that's all about it uh, about this camera we will be doing a lot of content around these cameras I also want to like um, if you want to know about more other the uh, Z7 II as well uh, which we are using uh, let me know uh, in the comment section I will be happy to answer those ones or if you guys want to know more about uh, this Z30 with the streaming and content creation and um, all these tasks you want us to do with this camera and with other lenses also let me know in the comment section we'll be happy to answer all we'll be happy to try all these things and we'll be happy to answer all your questions also so I hope this video is uh, I know it's a little bit longer but I hope it's it been helpful for you guys to see the portability and compatibility and easy use of this device is um, uh, that's what I wanted to show that's why I was so excited about it so don't forget to like and subscribe I'll see you guys in the next video bye bye